Anthony, Anthony, the fifth signing of Eric Ten Hag has arrived and landed in Manchester for Bricio Roman has confirmed to us that Anthony is in Manchester to undergo his medical. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? Guys, I'm so excited and elated because we hit, we hit 7,000 subscribers yesterday and today we are really embarking on really hitting 8,000 because I know before the, before the end of this month, I know we are going to to make it happen. I know you guys are really going to throw in the love and subscribe to this channel. And someone is asking me, Rokani, I always I always watch your channel, but how do I subscribe to your channel? Lower right bottom corner, smash the subscription button for smashing it. Hit the notification bell that will enable you to get notified each and every time I upload a video onto this channel. And just that is it. Rokan David is my name. Let's get straight into this Anthony story. But I'm going to show you what Fabrizio told us today, what he promised us today, and obviously that has really come that has already come to a happening right about now. Manchester is buzzing, it has been waiting, and obviously the package has been delivered finally in Manchester, and that is Anthony from Ajax to Manchester United. Smash the like button. I want to see this video get close to 1,000 likes because it's worth it. It's worth it because it's Anthony, one of the targets that Eric Ten Hag has been wanting to sign at Manchester United for a very, very long time. Now, Fabrizio Romano told us like two, three hours ago that Anthony will fly to Manchester United in the next hours. It will be today. It's now decided and confirmed. Medical has been already booked. He will be together with his agents. Contracts already approved on both player and club side. So, after telling us that, guess what he has just told us in the past 10-15 minutes. Fabrizio has gone on his tweet and told us that Anthony has just landed in England right now. Set to undergo medical tests as much as a United player tonight. Anthony is set to undergo medical tests as a United player tonight. So, guys, Anthony has landed from Ajax using a private jet to Manchester. He's already in Manchester and he has been driven to what we call Carrington where he's going to be diagnosed by the medical team of Manchester United and then later he would be unveiled as a Manchester United player. But thank you fans for really being with us and obviously demanding for this. And amidst these players coming in through, we should keep piling more pressure on the Glazers. We should find means of really getting them out of this club because however much they've delivered Anton and very many other players, they've done it because of the pressure of the fans and Sir Jim Ratcliffe coming in through and really telling us that he wants to buy the club. He wants to buy the club, he has the money and is willing to invest in Manchester United as a football club and to run it as a football enterprise, not a football brand. That's why the Glazers have gone in to bring Casemiro, they've gone to bring in Anthony and it shows you that we would have even had Every player that Ten Hag wanted at Manchester United, if at all, they had gone in to buy these players early enough. Lisandro Martinez was supposed to go for like 40 million euros. Uh, but he went for like 67, 30 more, 20, 20 plus. Anthony was supposed to go for like 60, 60, 70 million euros. He has gone for 100, meaning that they've spent 30 more than what they would have spent. Casemiro, if we went in early enough, would have gotten him at like... 30 40 million pounds sorry sorry 50 million euros but obviously we've gone in for 80 million euros meaning that we've spent we've spent some more 20 when you add that 20 extra on lisandro martinez 20 extra on casemiro and the 30 extra on the 30 extra on on anthony that is 70 million euros 70 million euros if you had bought them earlier meaning that would have used that money to bring in demo freeze at like 40 million euros and would have gone in to bring in another decent decent forward or Cody Gapko, you get? Because I believe that in, in, in 70 million euros you can really get Dema Freeze or a decent right back and Cody Gapko at Manchester United, you get? But they really did it late and it's costing us this but obviously the players arrived. I know we are all elated. We can't wait to see him play for Manchester United and obviously he loves this manager and he loves the club because he wants to take a further step into his career. And obviously, Anton is really a very good player. And I told people that don't mind about the price. Don't mind about the price as far as his performance is going to be concerned. I don't believe the price is going to affect his performance because the club where he has come, it's really a different club. You get? 
And obviously, he's going to be playing for a club that is having most of the ball. With Casemiro in that midfield area, especially because I expect him to start the game of Leicester City, that is Casemiro, not Anthony. Anthony on the, on the right, Sancho on the left, maybe Rashford playing centrally. Obviously, we expect us to build from the back again and really pass that ball and our opponents off the park. Especially in that game of Arsenal, I expect Anthony to start, Sancho to start. If at all, Anton Martial would have not yet returned, then Rashford in the line. But obviously, it's good to have Anthony because we've lacked the services of Anthony, especially in the four games we played. Even the recent two we've won, Sancho ran out of steam and we had no one to put on, to put on that side who is really effective. So, if you're having Anthony and he comes in through to play some 30-40 minutes, obviously, it really helps the club a lot. But let's wait and see what is going to happen. But I know he's going to be announced tomorrow as a United player because United are working tooth and nail to see to it that they accomplish the medical tonight. They unveil him tomorrow. They submit the papers tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, and by Thursday afternoon, they want those papers to be approved. They want to have gotten the visa, the work permit, such that the papers get approved. That's what United is all about. That's why you see to it that they've not even let him sleep to undergo his medical tomorrow. They want to undergo, they want to take, they want, they want to, to what? They want to carry out a medical on Anthony today and then submit everything tomorrow. Such that they have two and a half days. That is Tuesday, Wednesday. Those are full 24 hours. That is a total of 48 hours. And then the 12 hours of Thursday. And if at all he's approved on Thursday by noon, obviously expect him to play for United against Leicester and that would be the debut of Anthony for Manchester United. Someone will ask me, why did it take long for Casemiro to come in and play for United? I will tell you that. He flew in, he flew in on Saturday, remember? The office is closed on Friday. So, he, under, he underwent his medical at Carrington on on Saturday. He flew back to Madrid and he passed it. He returned. And when he returned, he was unveiled on Monday in the crowd. But even you saw that even the judge that he was holding, it never had a shirt number because you are not allowed to unveil a player with his shirt number when he's not yet registered. You get then after doing the registration and everything, he was announced as a United player because it took like two, three days. And I think if at all they really submit the paperwork in time, I think Tuesday and Wednesday will be enough for Anthony to get a visa and a work permit. And then he will be registered before noon on Thursday. If at all he does not get it by Thursday, obviously expect him to play on sunday against arsenal because by friday everything will be done but i'm still so i'm still so much puzzled about united and how they really get the, the work permits of these players because i i've seen other teams really get work permits of these players early enough does it show an inc does it show some incompetency in how these people are doing the work at united i leave it over to you but the fact is anthony has landed in england right now Manchester, specifically area code Carrington is undergoing his medical right about now. Then we've been told by Arthur Guizeda that Anthony's move to United should be made official today. The idea is for him to be available against Sunday, against Arsenal on Sunday. So they want everything to be approved today such that he's available on Sunday. So let's wait and see what is going to happen in the foyer. But obviously, him being part of the Sunday game is really going to be crucial. And I pray to it hard that even Martial is fit. Because if I told you having Anton Martial, I can't imagine that team. Martial, Sancho, and Anthony. With Casemiro in the defensive midfield. Ericsson and Bruno playing into that side. Obviously, it's another, another, another scenario that really requires you to think about it. And when you think about it, obviously, you have to go in and really say, oh, I really pity Arsenal because when you look at the attack force that United is going to front onto that game of football, obviously, they have to face it rough and they're coming at Old Trafford. If it was at Emirates, oh, it would have been a different game altogether, but at Emirates, at, 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 at Old Trafford, after beating a side which goes by the names of Liverpool, obviously, I think we are geared up and we got another win against Southampton. The addition of Anton is really going to be another relief and breath of fresh air in all at the club, which goes by the names of 
Manchester United. So smash the like button, comment and share. Anthony is in. Now, putting Anthony aside because we've talked a lot about him, close to 10 minutes talking about Anthony, Samuel Lucas of the Manchester Evening News, correspondent of Manchester United, he has told us that Napoli have held discussions with Ronaldo's agent ahead of Thursday's transfer deadline. Napoli are understood to be eyeing permanent deal for Ronaldo, but are prepared to settle for a loan deal as they pressed for time. Guys, the more we get to the deadline day of the transfer, the more Ronaldo and his agent are getting exposed. Ronaldo has always said United lacks ambition. I don't want to be here. I told you when I had that story of Ronaldo that wants to go out to Manchester United, I told people that that's not the case. The reason he's giving is a fallacy. The fact is, Ronaldo wants to play in the Champions League. Let no one lie to you. He wants to be playing in the Champions League. Now, do you think Napoli is more ambitious than Manchester United? What signings have they made? Look at the signings we brought in. Casemiro, statement signing. Anthony, statement signing. Lisandro Martin, statement signing. Malasia, the cheapest. When you look at how he plays, he's better than the left back we've been playing with for the previous six, seven years. That is Luke Shaw. Those are statement signings. What does Napoli have? You get? And to see to it that everything is really not working out, they are even negotiating for a loan. Meaning that no club is willing to go in and be spending money on Ronaldo. And I think this has really beat down his ego. Because Ronaldo is an egoistic player. He knows he's big. He can go and play anywhere. But obviously, it's not the case this time around. It's not the case this time around. It's not the case. Ronaldo has been sat down. Eric Ten Hag has fallen out with him because Ronaldo feels like he wants out. Ten Hag has tried to convince him to stay. And it's said that he's really acting as a distractor in the camp. But I don't believe in that because Ronaldo is a professional player. But obviously, the situation and the atmosphere around United when he's there and he really wants to go out, obviously, is another reason to unsettle some players at Manchester United. So to me, I really believe that he should be, he should be sold. If Ronaldo wants to go, if it's terminating the contract, why doesn't United terminate the contract with him mutually you get mutually it's better it's better that way you terminate it mutually no compensation from Manchester United no compensation from Ronaldo to Manchester United and then he leaves and he finds a club for himself why do we need Ronaldo what is he going to be to the club that's the big question that none of the people really has an answer to so I believe <laughs> I believe Thursday deadline day, we are seeing Ronaldo cross into Napoli. And the big question is, is Napoli a more ambitious club than Manchester United? No. The answer is, all along, Ronaldo wanted to be playing into the Champions League. And all of those have been lies that he has been trading around as far as Manchester United is concerned. That he really wants to go in and do the needful for a team which goes by names of Manchester United. When it's ambitious, he will stay. Nothing. If we were in the Champions League, he would have been here. But because we are out of the Champions League, he's obviously going to look for a team that plays in the Champions League. All right. Fabrizio Romano has told us that confirmed. Hannibal Mebry has just completed his move from Manchester United to Birmingham or non. No buy option. Mebry prepared to extend contract with Manchester United the next month as talks will continue. So... A story came out that what was delaying this deal was that United and Mabry had not yet agreed on extending the contract. And Mabry was like, let me go to Birmingham, then I extend my contract. <laughs> that way because obviously he really needs to get enough playing time because he's a talented player. But it was said United had put in a clause into the contract of loaning him to Birmingham that he has to go on and play enough games. If Birmingham never gave him enough games... They're going to be penalized by United. Something I never really agreed with because it's like you are really you are really bribing for this player to get enough playing time. Let the player be there and let the player show his potential at Birmingham to get a starting place. Obviously, we look at Hannibal, 
playing at Birmingham is really great and is going to go in and put in a shift because I don't believe that there is a player at Birmingham who is really talented than who is more talented than than Hannibal, especially into that central attacking midfield area where he's played. Preparing for I think he's preparing for the World Cup. Did Tunisia qualify for the World Cup? Did they? I'm not yet sure, but obviously Hannibal is really one of those players that is really talented. And I know he will go in and put out a very good performance that will really tickle the mind of Eric Ten Hag on how talented this guy is. Because we know what he has. He's talented, he's good, but he has been kept at United for so long in the, other, in the reserve team. And he would have gone on, I think, last season. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer led to most of the players really at Manchester United to really drop one of their years in their career. They shouldn't count those years that he was at, at Manchester United because very many players didn't benefit in the presence of man who goes by the names of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But Hannibal Mebri is out on loan and wish him the best of luck when he goes that side. Remember, United really had James Garner on loan played very well and uh, he returned and he even put up a very good performance and teams like Tottenham Hotspur Newcastle, Leicester City, Southampton, West Ham are really in need of this player. And United looked like they wanted to sell him, but obviously right now it looks like they are pulling out and I think they can go for what we call a loan. <clears throat> now, we've been told by Gabriel Sanz that <coughs> FC Barcelona wants 20 million euros for, the, for Serginio Dest but United are offering a player in exchange. I don't really believe that Serginio Dest is worth 20 million euros. He's not. He's not, according to me, and I can't believe that we are going in for a player who goes by the names of Serginio Dest. I think, why don't we wait a year more further and then get in a proven right back like Demofries? You get why don't we? I really believe that. Sell Aaron and Bissaka. Let, let, let Brandon Williams play that side. That's my, that's my thinking. Because we are not in the Champions League. What you have to do is that you have to put Delo there to keep fit. Let Delo not play into the UEFA Europa League games. Let him not play in the League Cup. Let him not play into the FA Cup. Put Delo to play only in the Premier League games. Meaning that he will always have seven days of resting and he's not an injury prone player. Then Brandon Williams should be playing as a right back for United for all the rest of the games because I think he's better than Aaron Bissaka going forward and he's good on the ball. He can really play from behind and I think he can come in and put in a shift. And obviously, if, that's, if that can't work, let's deploy Linderoff to play as a right back. It's better that way. It's better that way because Linderoff can give us what we want from right, right back position, obviously. But let's not spend money on Sagino Des, a player who is exciting going forward. And we are into a very critical time of wanting to sign in good players. So I think we shouldn't go in for a player below the levels of Demofries. Demofries is the guy. Is the guy. I think you better keep Brandon Williams this season. You give him some good, some good games in the UEFA Europa League, FA Cup and Carabao Cup. After playing very well, that means he would have created market for himself and you will sell him like at 30 million pounds. That's it. If you really give him enough playing time, he can really raise his value from 15 million pounds that you only wanted from him to 30. That's it. That is Brandon Williams for you. So I don't believe in really bringing Sagino Dest. No, 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 I don't. I think we should eye at Dema Freeze and have a plan of really seeing ourselves play to qualify for the Champions League or win the UEFA Europa League. When in the Champions League, players like Demo Freeze will obviously come in at Manchester United. And by then, I really believe that Eric Ten Hag would have already enforced his style of play at Manchester United and would have been a, and it will be a very exciting, exciting system of play for a team which goes by name of Manchester United. But a player in exchange being talked about is Aaron Wan Bissaka. And obviously, I don't see Aaron Wan Bissaka being bought by Barcelona because Xavi wants ball playing players. Good defensively and good playing that ball. You've seen it on a player who goes by names of Jordi Alba. 
Xavi is saying that the reason why I want Marcus Alonso in, he's good defensively and good going forward. Um, Jordi Alba is good going forward, but defensively he's a suspect. So you can't tell me that Xavi will want to bring in a player who is good defensively and not good going forward because Barcelona has lion's share of the possession of almost every game they play. So why would they need a player who is only defensively and not going forward? They are not a defensive team. They are an attack-minded team. That's why Xavi wants defenders who are good at both defensively and going forward. So, thank you guys for watching in. Tell me what you think about Anthony in Manchester for his medical. And when you look at the rest of the story, we're talking about Ronaldo to Napoli, then Hannibal leaves, and obviously Saginho Dest to Manchester United, 20 million euros valued by Barcelona. We don't know what it's all going to be about, but it's all about United Matters channel. And Rock and David is my name. Smash the like button, comment, and share. Subscribe, subscribe. We want to hit 8,000 subscribers, guys. That's our next target. We've already hit 7,000, and you guys have made it happen. And thank you very much. I love you all. See you later. I'm out. May the Almighty God protect you abundantly, and I cover you all in the blood of Jesus Christ.